Puggles, how are you? I was so excited to see so many of you join our Zoom meeting. And for those of you who could not make it, that's okay. Just have your mommies or daddies contact Miss Tammy or Miss Jessica and we can connect you for a fun time of worship. And I am so excited to learn so much about God today. Now, before I call Miss Eileen to go over the classroom rules and time for worship, I noticed that we have some new puggles here today. And as always, we are very welcoming. So let's give a big hello to our new friends. Hi. All right, so let's call Miss Eileen. Hi, puggles. Are you guys ready to sing the doobie rules with me this morning? You are? Yay! All right, now for our Doobie rules, we're gonna need our special friend, Doobie. Now, let's see. Where is Doobie? Hmm, where's Doobie? <gasps> there he is. <laughs> Hi, Doobie. Are you ready to help us sing your Doobie rules this morning? You are? Great. Let's set you down right here so you can help us go over some of your rules, all right? All right, are you guys ready? Great. So Doobie says that we have to be a listener, be a watcher, be a friend, be kind, be a listener, be a watcher, be a friend, be kind. Yay! Great job, everyone. And thank you, Doobie, for helping us go over our Doobie rules. We'll see you next week. Bye! All right, after our Doobie rules, it's time for our Vineyard Kids Be On Time song. So, are you guys ready to sing the song with me? All right. I've got the Vineyard Kids enthusiasm up in my head. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my feet. I've got the Vineyard Kids enthusiasm all over me. And I will be on time. Great job, everyone, and great job on being on time this Sunday. Now, after our Be On Time song, we go into our Puggles theme song. So, can everyone stand up for me, please? Can everyone stand up? And let's get ready to sing our Puggles theme song together. All right? Great. me and you, Puggles. So what do we do, Puggles? We get together and learn God's Word. It's so great to be in God's family. So let's go, Puggles. There's so much to know, Puggles. And that's how we Great job, everyone. Now, let's get ready for worship. So, can everyone fold your hands, close your eyes, bow your heads, and repeat after me? Dear Jesus, thank you for today, and let us worship you with all of our hearts, with all of our minds, with all of our strength and with all of our soul. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, let's get ready to worship.
to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands and say that. Puggles, let's go over the review questions from last week. How did God get most of the attention? Mm-hmm. God got most of the attention with the burning bush. How did God rescue his people? By sending things to make the king change his mind and let God's people go. And the bonus question. Who did God rescue his people from? King of Egypt. Well, I'll see you in class. Hi, Puggles. Hi, Michelle. How was your week? It's always so good to see you guys. And this past week, I saw some of you practicing your Puggles verse that we've been practicing these past few weeks. And do you remember our new friend that we met last week? Hmm. That's right! It's Sydney! And we taught Sydney our Big Truth 2 series first song, the Psalm 48, verse 1. Yes, Michelle! Sweet Of course! And for some of our friends who are new to this class, we just lift our hands like this and then give a big thumbs up. Let's try. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. Verse 1 
Psalm 48 verse 1 says, Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. Wow, you guys did such a great job. Can you give yourself a big pat on the back? Well, today we have six more lessons to learn in our Big Truth 2 series. We have learned so far that God is always with me and you and Mr. Puggles and Miss Sydney, and God is strong. And today, we're going to watch a short clip that shows that God keeps us safe. Let's watch. This is Moses, hey. who was an Israelite born in Egypt in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. Wait, huh? Moses, however, grew up in the palace of the Pharaoh, the very man who was enslaving the Israelite people. When Moses grew up, he made a big mistake uh -oh. and fled Egypt uh -oh. to live with the Midianites. Uh. But God called Moses back to Egypt ah. to deliver his people with the help of his brother Aaron. Ooh. After God showed his miraculous power in Egypt, he led the Israelites through the Red Sea and towards the Promised Land. They followed God who showed himself as a cloud by day and fire by night. As God led them through the wilderness, the Israelites became thirsty and hungry. Uh. They complained to Moses and Aaron uh. and said, if only we had died in Egypt. Uh. God said to Moses that he would provide for his people. Hey! Each morning they awoke and found manna for the day. What's that? And each night God gave them meat. <laughs> the people were still thirsty and they were mad at Moses saying, did you bring us out here to die of thirst? Yeah. So Moses cried out to God, and God told Moses to strike a rock, and water came flowing out of it for the people to drink. And so the Lord provided for his people's needs. After traveling in the desert for three months, they came to Mount Sinai, and God called Moses from the top of the mountain. God spoke to Moses there of the future of his people and reminded him of the miracles of the past. After three days, there was thunder and lightning as a thick cloud covered the mountain. The people heard a loud trumpet blast. And Moses led people to the foot of the mountain to meet with God. God told them how his people were to live and how they were to honor him and respect each other. The Israelites had seen for themselves that God had spoken to Moses from heaven. These rules that God told them are called the Ten Commandments. And the Israelites feared God, for his mighty power had brought them out of slavery and provided for them in the desert. Do you boys and girls know what this is? Hmm. That's right. It is an ocean filled with cute little sea turtles and other fish and even scary sharks. Have you ever imagined if the ocean just split up and you could go right through the ocean? God is so strong and amazing to push the ocean and create a path for his people. Who knew that God would give Moses such a big job to lead God's people 
away from the Egyptian army and to the promised land. It was so tough since they had a long journey and trapped between the mountains and the Red Sea. Moses trusted God and obeyed him. He set a great example of what God wanted to trust him and to obey him so that he can continue to keep us safe. After all, he loves us so very much that he just wants to have a relationship with everyone, including you. He even sent his son, Jesus, to come down and rescue us, to save us from our sin. We learned so much today. And what do we do before we say goodbye at the end of the class? We pray. That's right. We fold our hands and close our eyes and pray. Dear God, Thank you for being so kind to us. Thank you for giving us Jesus so that we can become the living and the kind people that God created us to be. Amen. Well, I hope that you guys have a wonderful week. Bye. Do you have any questions, prayer requests, or just want to talk to us? Here are the ways that you can contact us. Email us or message us on Instagram or Facebook. We're always excited to hear from you. Hey Puggles, let's go over the review questions for next week. How did God save his people from the Egyptians? Can you give an example of three people who are strong and keep you safe? And the bonus question, how does God keep us safe? And we'll review those questions next week. Oh, and one last thing. So here are some really fun activities that you can do about what we discussed today. And check out the links below for some other really fun activities. Have fun! And remember to enjoy God's word together. Tune in next week for the Ten Commandments. God is kind. God made the world and God made